Should you take the fundamentals of engineering test? This is a very, very common question. And if you stay with me until the end of the video, I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. But if it's the first time we're meeting, welcome. My name is Alex Sitter, and here on the channel, we talk about engineering career and self-development techniques that have helped me grow professionally and personally. So if you like this video, make sure that you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. So when it comes to the fundamentals of engineering exam, there, there is a lot of perspectives. There's a lot of opinions, people that are going to tell you that you should take it, that you should not take it, that it's a waste of time, that unless you're a civil engineer, you should just like not worry about it. So there's a lot of information going on out there, I guess, just like with anything out there nowadays. So here I finally made a decision. I used to be, I used to think that it would depend on whether or not you think you're going to need a professional engineering license, because the truth of the matter is that the only reason why you would need a fundamentals of engineering exam is if you are thinking about getting a professional engineering license later down the road. However, what I've come to realize is that there's so many ifs when we're talking about chemical, when we're talking about electrical, mechanical, uh, and there, there are some situations where you are not sure you are kind of on the fence that actually happened to me. I wasn't sure whether or not I would get a professional engineering license. And so I just went ahead and took the fundamentals of engineering exam, because if you really think about it, what are what are the disadvantages of taking the, the fundamentals of engineering exam? Let's look at that first, because in order to make a decision, we have to take a look at what are the pros and cons, just like with anything we do, right? So the disadvantages, as far as I see it, as far as I'm concerned, is that you spend $200, that is the test. And so you waste, quote unquote, $200 if you don't end up using the fundamentals of engineering test. You quote unquote, lose or waste three or four days of preparation for the fundamentals of engineering test. And worst case scenario, you don't ever use it. So those are the three main, I guess, disadvantages that it comes when you take a fundamentals of engineering test and you don't end up using it. But I know that you may be thinking about the money here and you may, may, you may be thinking, yeah, that's $200. Like I don't have $200, but think about it. How much money do you just spend in college? you at least spent 40 to 50,000, at least, at least. And so $200, that's a very, very small percentage of the money that you already invested in yourself. So another $200 is really not going to make a, a, a big dent. It's not going to make you rich and it's not going to make you poor when it comes to just comparing it to your college education for engineering school. So that's my main perspective. And I, I highly encourage you guys. Now I'm encouraging everyone to get the fundamentals of engineering exam out of the way. And the reason for this is that if there is a small, if the small chance of you getting a professional engineering license comes to take place, then at least you will already have the fundamentals of engineering exam on the your sleeve. Not only that, but it's also easier to take this test when you are in college as soon as you finish because all the concepts are already fresh i already went through the process of how i prepare for the fundamentals of engineering exam how i prepare for it how i passed it and what i recommend and suggest to you so if you're interested in the video make sure that you go check it out there's a lot of good information there so that's my final answer i will just i'm just recommending everyone to just get her over with. It's only a couple of days of preparation. It's only, it only costs $200. And if you happen to need it in the future, then it's already there. That's my final answer. Peace.